Hi, uh, now that uh, we've installed our uh, install WordPress on our domain name, in this video I'll quickly show you how to go about customizing your website by installing uh, a theme and some of the essential plugins on your uh, website. So we'll first of all start with installing the plugins. What you need to do is go to this link here, plugins, and click on add new. So once you've done that, it'll open up a window where you will be able to see a lot of these uh, you know, uh, plugins. So uh, the details of the plugins, the the ones that we need to install, is mentioned in the article. So you can uh, you know just go and copy paste those those names out here. So I'll just install one of these. It is Yoast SEO. This plugin basically helps in uh, uh, in search engine optimization for your website. It's a very simple little plugin. So just need to now now that you've searched it, you can see here these are the search results and this is the plugin that we are talking about. So just click on install now and it should install the plugin there. So once this is installed, it'll ask you to activate the plugin. So just click on activate plugin and your plugin has been installed and activated. Now similarly, go to add new again and Install each of the plugins that uh, that we've mentioned in the article. There, another one is Jetpack. You can see that uh, link the plugin out here. Just need to click on Install now, and that should install uh, the plugin on your blog. So this is you need to repeat this process for each of uh, the plugins that uh, that are there in the article. Now, each of those plugins are extremely important for your food blog. Uh, or your website primarily because of the fact that these plugins help you in a lot of things like uh, you know customizing the links on your website and by helping your uh, blog rank uh, on the first page of Google by uh, doing all the required search engine optimization uh, work uh, required for your blog so uh, it is recommended that you install at least these plugins that we mentioned in there uh, but then it is entirely up to you which other plugins you want to install. Uh, you can go about doing that as well. So now that we have installed a couple of plugins here, I'll show you how to go about installing a custom theme for your website. Now, like what we mentioned, if you uh, prefer installing a premium theme, then there is a link on your website on, on the article uh, from where you can uh, order your copy of Genesis theme, which is something that we recommend the most. Uh, but then uh, Genesis theme and you'll have to also buy a child theme, which is a foodie theme, which is the one that is uh, that best fits a food blog. Uh, but that will together cost you about $159. So if you're OK with spending that kind of money, then you can always go ahead and click that link and order your copy of uh, Genesis theme along with the foodie blog theme. But if you don't want to do that, uh, a more economical and less costly option is that of uh, theme forest. Uh, you'll find the link to that as well in the article. So we recommend uh, theme forest themes as well because those are very beautiful looking, very good looking, uh, very easy to customize, have a lot of features and are extremely cost effective as well. So if you want to order, there is there is a beautiful theme called as Theme X that is being sold in Theme Forest. Uh, the link is there in the, in the article. You can click that link. Uh, you'll be taken to that page from where you can order Theme X. ThemeX is a decent looking theme. There are a lot of options and a lot of customization options. So, um, you know, I'm sure the the you, the way you want to design your food blog, you should be able to do that with ThemeX. So uh, that is a very economical option. If you want to go with ThemeX, uh, you can go ahead and order your copy. But if you don't want to do any of those, there are a ton of free themes that are available on WordPress. You can search for a theme and you can install that as well. Now you can see here this theme is one of the latest theme, which is a 2015 theme uh, on WordPress. This this theme is also a nice little nice looking theme if you want uh, to install it on your food blog. Uh, there are a lot of features and uh, you can click here to see what are the features you can see here. Now this is this theme has uh, you know a, a black, blue, gray, pink, all of these colors. There are two columns. There is a left sidebar. There is a fixed layout. You also have a responsive layout, which means if your blog is being looked at on a mobile device, uh, the theme will adjust uh, accordingly so that 
you don't have to do anything additional in order for it to be customized for mobile devices you have a custom header you have a custom menu and a lot of these features so you can uh, do whatever you want uh, with with this theme as well the theme that we are using on our blog is called as sugar and spice so all that you need to do is just search here for sugar and spice okay we forgot to click on add new so you need to click on add new and then you can search for sugar and spice so this is the theme that we are using on our blog all that you need to do is just click on this and that should install the the theme for you i'll show you how to go about doing that click on install so now it will take you to a page where the theme has been installed just click on activate and the theme should be activated so the theme is activated and it is there so now that uh, it is there you know you can go about customizing it by clicking on this customize button here and it will take you to a page where you have a lot of options using which you can customize your blog it will quickly show you how to go about doing that now here you can see this is a site title whatever your food blog's name is here you can add a tagline you can decide on what is the color that you want if you want a background color you can just select this so let me select this color and you can see you'll be able to see that the color changes out here now if you want a background image you can select the background image you see here the color has been changed now you can decide if you want a static front page or a normal front page where all the posts are displayed so you can do that as well and you can go ahead and install these uh, widgets here the widgets are the ones that you're seeing out here so this these ways uh, you'll be able to customize uh, this blog once i click save and publish now we can go back to where we were and i'll show you how the blog looks so this is how our blog looks so now we are ready with our uh, blog we have installed the theme we have installed a plugin everything has been done there is one additional thing that i want to tell you about which is extremely important when you are installing um, you, you know when you are when you are running a, a blog on wordpress so what you need to do is you need to go to settings out here and there is something called as permalinks out here so you go to this link here and by default what happens is all your posts will take will look like this so if you've published a post uh, you know whatever the post is uh, that the link to that post will look something like this now this is a very uh, google unfriendly kind of a link and uh, this this doesn't rank quite well on google because one of the requirements of search engine optimization is that uh, the link should also be optimized for your keywords so you shouldn't use this option here which is a default instead you can use one of these but this is what we recommend you to use which is which means the iamsuccessadvice.com slash sample hyphen post now if for example you've written a post on uh, uh, you know maybe on on a cake on uh, cake so in that case what you can do is you can just add uh, you know your link will look like i am success advice.com slash blueberry cake so you know uh, this this looks nice this this is seo friendly and uh, it gives a certain authority to your posts and your website so don't forget to change this before you start writing your uh, your blog posts because you don't want your links to be changed once you've published your blog posts so that is it on installing themes and the plugins so i think uh, that should have helped you uh, you know install your uh, install wordpress on your domain name and start your first food blog if you have any questions don't forget to write to us and we'll be more than happy to help you with uh, responding to any queries that you have